So in this video, we're going to have to create two new tables. One of them will be um, tasks and one of them will be the joint table between users and tasks. So we're going to create tasks. We're going to say create tasks table. I just want to be sure that uh, the not plural. So if we go to database, go to migrations and uh, you'll say okay it's in plural um, create um, task tasks table so um, we're here create tasks table so go to your uh, command prompt and run this make sure that you're on the root folder of the laravel hit enter and then after that we're going to create the join table So secondly, we create that. Um, in a short while, you will understand uh, why we uh, created this join table, user task, and then hit enter. So we want to be able to create unlimited number of tasks for the user to complete. Do you understand? So let's say a user signs into our platform. We can tell them, hey, retweet our post, and then you get uh 10 points for retweeting and then go to facebook and like our page then you get 20 points then go to twitter and whatever it is we want to be able to create several tasks for this user so we've created um the tasks table so that we can list the tasks but then we also need to create uh the user task table this is a table that will help us track the tasks table all right so in the task migration uh, first of all we need the id of course it's already there then we need the task title so i'm going to say table string title and then we need other things like uh, the description long text Uh, that's the description, the task, the instruction or description, depending description, I'll call it instruction. This is the instruction to the user on what to do uh, about the task. So I think um, I think it should be nullable. And then uh, the proof. So there should be a sort of proof that you actually did it. So if the user does something, they should be able to prove to us. Okay, the proof shouldn't even be there. Instruction. I don't think the proof should be here. Then what else do we need here on this task table? We need to know the user that is creating this task. So integer. Then user ID. That's the user creating this task. Then what else do we need? So we need to know um, what reward, how many reward points to allot to this uh, guy. So we're going to say integer reward points. Reward points. So if you complete these tasks, uh, we're going to uh, reward you with this. All right. So the next thing we want to check is the task user. Since this is a joint table, we're going to do a table, I'll do integer, and then we're going to do reward, we're going to do user ID, and then the task ID, we need to trap the task ID, and then we can start doing other things like um, how many reward points did this person earn for performing these tasks, this task, and reward points. And then we're going to track the proof. What's the proof that they performed the task? So it's, it's a string. It does give us a link or whatever. I think it should be a long text, but it should be a string. All right, so uh, that's it. Integer task, no one point. Okay, cool. So I think we're basically good to go. We need to see status. Uh, for instance, uh, after the person has um, uh, as after the this user 
has um, completed this task admin needs to verify before they can get their reward points you get what i'm saying so we need to track if um uh, admin has done that so i think we should do integer you can use boolean if you want or boolean depending on how you want to pronounce it well i prefer to use integer uh that will end up being uh one or zero so by default we want it to be zero that it has not been approved or verified by admin so we're gonna say default by default it should be zero um, admin has not verified it then the proof the proof okay um should it be required i think i should just make it nullable here but then in the in the box and i'll make it required so do not level beautiful reward points um i will do um by default it should be zero you've not earned anything by default um integer okay cool so let's just cross check this before we close up this is not level this is not no level what points i'm just gonna make it uh, zero by default by default make it zero and everything seems good here so see in the next video where we actually save this in the database and create a table for it